How is the experience playing against your brother and your former team in a regular season game? We got to win, so I'm good. I'm good. It was fun. Uh, just being back brought it back uh, a lot of good memories, just how I started off. And, um, yeah, just getting to compete against my brother again, that's always fun. So, uh, obviously, uh, getting a win and be able to brag about is the most important thing to me. <laughs> yeah, the, the steal you had of a pass, was there any conversation after that? Was that something you might have done in the backyard oh, at he, one point in your teens? Oh, he was hot. He was hot. He was mad I got the steal. <laughs> he was mad. He was like, hey, bro, you got me a turnover. And I said, you got me a steal. So, and he got my first two points. So, uh, nah, it was fun, man. Just, just being able to play. Like, it just, uh, it's weird. It, like, took a little minute to get adjusted to it, but it was, it was good. It was a fun game. You both ended up with eight points. Uh, you had a couple more rebounds on the defense. Got the win. Is that going to come up again, you know, in text message or Facebook all soon? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm about to see him here in a second. I'm about to see him here for a second. So, uh, yeah, it's weird that I didn't even realize that we had eight points until the, right till the game was over. But yeah, it just shows you how how much we do every day the same. He want to be like me. And what difference did you see? I mean, second quarter, you guys were, you know, missing a lot, you know, a lot of shots weren't falling. The rest of the game, you know, were hot. I mean, what difference did you see in that second quarter? Man, we just moved the ball. We just made them move, and uh, you know, once you're playing good ball like that, and you're driving and kicking and swinging to both sides, uh, you know, with a good pace, like it, cut, you know, it gets to a point where guys, it's, it's tough to guard. Like it's tough to guard that um, every single possession. I feel like we did that majority of the night. Just played good basketball, and made that, and made them move, and on top of getting stops on our end, it's uh, it's deflating. So. You're, uh, no, you. Your first year with this team, what have you grown to appreciate most about Bam, the type of player he is and, and all that he does? Uh, how easy it makes it on defense just to, to switch. You don't have to fight through screens, you know, every single possession and try to, you know, try to get a stop every single time. And, uh, you know, and you don't feel a sense of liability whenever he's on the island. You know what I mean? He can handle his own with anybody. So um, it's a good feeling to know that you can kind of uh, – just you know, kind of peek over there and make sure everything's good. But for the most part, you don't have to you don't have to worry about him. You know, it doesn't matter one through five. He he's good where he's at. And what have you grown being a teammate of Jimmy to appreciate about him? There's a lot. Obviously, we see how efficient he is, the basket area, the rebounds, the assists, etc. Yeah, uh, obviously, but the, the basketball part playing with him is easy. I mean, he play makes. Uh, he, pl he play makes. He gets everybody involved. It's easy to play with him, and he looks. He wants to get everybody involved. So his willingness just to to get everybody going and, and, you know, along with everybody else on the team, just the selflessness that uh, they want er they want everybody to play well and make it easier on them. And, and you know, and Jimmy's just a clown, so it's not even really just about on the court. So he just, he's nonstop joking and uh, it's a it's a good vibe. It's, it's like that with most of the guys on the team. So uh, it's always it's always good uh, being around those guys. Maddox. Start with Cooper Moorhead, Caleb, uh, apologies for another question about your brother, but the two of you have been playing together for so long, been working out together for so long. Just curious, if, what, what has the experience been this year being apart? Uh, it's been, uh, it, it was an adjustment like the first probably month or two. Um, but actually, I think we've, we've grown to uh, get adjusted pretty quick. It's, I think a lot of it just has to do with the with the locker rooms and stuff that we're in. The guys that we that we see every day, they you know, along with the staff, uh, they've been a such an important role for us to transition and to, to live in and playing without each other. That it's it's made it a lot easier than expected. So um, yeah, it's a lot of credit to those guys, man. They they've uh, really kept my mind off of it, obviously for the first two months, and then the rest was pretty easy. All right up next, we have Crystal Saltas, SDNA Greece. Go ahead. Hey, Kenneth, congratulations on the win the performance as well. Thank you. What are the aspects during this season we saw that your role has changed, uh, has changed and you have more minutes on the floor and being impactful on both ends? What are, what are the... Can you tell us about that behind the scenes? What was the biggest uh, work for about that? Uh, sorry, you was breaking up. I couldn't really understand you. Sorry about that. It's about your role. Uh, the, your role has changed this season. We, we were, you became so impactful on both ends. What was the biggest, the biggest growth and the biggest progress to be so impactful on both ends as the season goes on? Yeah, uh, 
uh, I just think that obviously, uh, kind of like you said, it just it changes, it, it fluctuates, and uh, depending on who's out and, and what we need. So, um, you know, I, I've showed flashes that I can put the ball in the basket, and then there's flashes where you know I can I, I feel like I can guard uh, one of the top guys, and I take pride in trying to and, and do both those things when when either one of them are needed and or both at the same time. So, um, I just like to fill voids that needed to be filled, and you know, uh, I think that's just. I learned a lot about that uh, and taking that from the guys and the All-Stars and, you know, guys who got championships on our team that they just mold to anything that they, they need to do in order to get a win. So um, I just try to take that and put it in my game and, you know, not really worry about me and worry about my stats, but just worried about what's, what the team needs. How big reason was uh, Coach Foster was for that? How, how challenged you during this season? How challenged? Sorry again. Say it again. How, how uh, Coach Foster, how challenged you to become more impactful on both ends? Oh, uh, he's seen, he, you know, obviously he's seen a lot in me. Uh, I think that uh, when I first got here and, and he's seen what I can do, uh, obviously being on the defensive end, just be able to, like, uh, to, to play off my instincts. And uh, he challenges, you know, he challenges me just like he challenges everybody, you know, whether you're the first or the 17th man, whatever it is. Uh, uh, you know, he he, puts, he gets guys on this team because he knows they can play and what they can bring. So uh, he obviously wants me to be the best I can be on the defensive end, and, and he's going he's going to continue to to push me to do that. All right, Caleb, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, thank y'all. Thanks, Thanks Caleb. No problem.